Hello, and welcome to the Kate and Gordon Show, today's best country mix. If you're just joining us, welcome to the show. So joining me right now is Roland J. Hey, Roland, how's it going? I'm doing good. It's uh, Roland Jewett, and uh, it's great to meet you, Caden. Thank you for inviting me on the show. You're very welcome. We're happy to have you here. So kind of tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into music. Okay, well, um, I grew up in Miami and South Florida and uh, was always interested in music. Uh, however, it was not my first love. My first love was acting and writing. So okay. I was actually an actor uh, for, for quite a few years down in South Florida. Uh, did some movies like I was in The Bodyguard with Whitney Houston and Kevin Costner. I did Miami Vice. I did Unsolved Mysteries as an actor. Um, quite wow. a few things down there. I hosted some shows. And, uh, but had always had a guitar hanging around since the college days. So mm -hmm. uh, learned a few chords and uh, started writing songs in high school and got a little more serious about it in my 20s. But really mm -hmm. didn't start recording um, until about 10, 12 years ago. Oh, wow. Okay. So you were more focused at acting and then you got more into singing. Pretty much. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I moved to Los Angeles, uh, trying to be an actor out there and a screenwriter and got a few movies made out there. And, uh, cool. and then I got married, moved to Arizona and uh, became a father and really started focusing on on being a good father and being mm -hmm. home with my child. And Very important. I always was playing guitar the whole time, always writing new songs. Uh, whatever would pop into my head, I would record it on a little tape recorder. Uh, you remember those? No, you're too, <laughs> you're too young. Kind of, kind of. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so um, about 12 years ago, my son, you know, was a little bit older, didn't need me quite as much. So I started focusing on, on recording again mm -hmm. um, and recorded a few songs and got some notice on those and put them out on Spotify and you know all the other platforms that everybody's on these days. And uh, mm -hmm. so now I'm just focusing really on music for the most part. But I also do screenwriting and writing in the meantime as well. Awesome. What do you most enjoy about music? About music? Yeah. Um, uh, my favorite part of music, you know, is I, I like a good melody. For one thing, a melody that just gets stuck in your head and uh, that makes you happy or makes you think. Um, uh, that's my favorite thing about music. I'm, I'm not too much into rap, you know, because um, I, I enjoy good melody. And I think country music has a lot of the music has a lot of good melodies. Pop music I like. I'm starting to write more pop music now believe it or not. Um, I, I've been focusing more on country because mm -hmm. I'm not the greatest guitar player in the world. Um, and, you know, some of the chords that I know lend themselves and the progressions that I use lend themselves more for a country style than they do a, a pop or a rock mm -hmm. uh, type of style. Do you have any new singles or any upcoming projects that we can look forward to? Well, yes, I'm glad you asked that. Uh, just three or four days ago, I released my latest single, which is not country. It's the it's really the first. Okay. I've done alternative, I've uh -huh. done Americana, and I've done country. Mm -hmm. This is actually going to be my first sort of uh, pop rock type. Of Interesting. Song. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's called Electricity, and uh, it's uh, I did it with my my good friend Andy Falk, who we've known each other since college days. At, at Florida State University way, way back. Mm -hmm. And we always wanted to do something together. And finally, we got together and did this song, Electricity, and uh, I think it turned out really well. And so now it's on Spotify and uh, Deezer and iHeartRadio mm -hmm. and all the major platforms. So I'm really excited about this song. Thanks for asking. You're very welcome. What does a typical day look like for you? Um, I, I get up you know, about nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. kind of a night owl, so I stay up late. Mm -hmm. uh, that's when I do my best thinking and creating, uh, as a lot of artists do. Um, and I have some breakfast, and I and I get myself a cup of coffee, because I, I definitely mm -hmm. need that to start my day. And, uh, you know, I'll pick up the guitar, uh, strum a few chords, try to see if something comes into my head. 
I won't push it too hard, but uh, if, if the song comes great, if not, that's okay. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I'm involved in a lot of other things as well, um, not just songwriting. So I do a lot of uh, um, creative writing. I have a lot of short stories out there, a lot of poetry. Uh, as I said, I do screenwriting and uh, you know, I've had a couple of movies made. I've had some, some plays on off-Broadway. So really, it just sort of depends on what, um, what I'm focused on at the moment. You know, mm -hmm. I, I don't plan out my days and I don't really, I don't really think too much ahead of what, what I'm going to be working on that day. It's kind of like, okay, mm -hmm. this is sort of the top of my list. I better try to get on, get on this and get it done. Mm -hmm. So every day is very different for me. If you could go open a show for any artist you can choose or think of, in fact, who would you choose and why? Oh, boy. Uh, that's a really good question and a really tough question. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Paul McCartney, of course, so he would probably be my top choice. The Beatles have always been influential in my life. And my mm -hmm. first record that I ever bought, which was a 45 way back when, was uh, Get Back by the Beatles. So if I could open for Paul McCartney, that would be beyond my wildest expectations. Um, I'm also a big fan of Bob Dylan and Willie Nelson. Um, I love Willie Nelson, Chris Christopherson, um, some of the older country guys that I, that I really like. Mm -hmm. So it would probably be some of the legends, you know, I'd want to open up for a legend. I mean, it would just be great to be in their presence. Mm -hmm. What do you like doing outside of music? Let me ask that question of you, you know, at your tender age, well, who would you love to open up for? Um, I don't really sing, but if I did, I would probably, let's rephrase that. If I <laughs> had a chance to interview a famous person, I would probably choose Luke Bryan. Luke Bryan? That's yeah. A good choice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Um, typically, not a lot of people ask me that, so... <laughs> Yeah. But somebody has to ask you questions every now and then, right? <laughs> I mean, a couple of people do. It's not like n no one's ever asked me a question before. It's definitely had a chance to turn its tables, but doesn't happen often. So. Yeah. Well, cool. I'm glad I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> what would you be doing right now if music was not around? Would you still be doing acting? Would you get a new job? Where would you see yourself doing? Um, I know I would be writing. Uh, that's that's always been in my life. Um, always been a writer. I would be writing short stories. I'd be writing plays, screenplays, uh, poetry, um, just kind of like what I do now. So, you know, thank God music is around, though, because I, I do love music probably more than almost anything. Music and movies has been my life. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, uh, I would definitely be writing something because right? it's just something that ideas pop into my head and they dictate to me how they would like to be expressed. For instance, you know, if, a, if it's a, something comes to me and I say that would make a good poem um, and I'll write a poem or that sounds like a song or it might be a melody attached to it or something. Or I have an idea for a short script that I know is not going to be long enough to sustain a, a, a film, a feature film. I'll write a short film or a play. So okay. everything comes to me in different ways. What is the best piece of advice another musician has ever given you? Um, probably don't listen to critics. You know, just um, do your own thing. Be true to yourself. Write what you enjoy writing. And uh, don't listen to what other people think or what they say. It's great when people like your, your material, mm -hmm. but it's not the end of the world if they don't. You know, you're going to find your niche. If you keep being true to yourself, there's going to be people out there that are going to like what you do. Mm -hmm. And you just have to focus on being, being real and, uh, and, and exploring who you are through your music, um, whether that's an instrument or your voice or both of them together as a songwriter. Uh, just don't be phased by other people and critics in the business because they're, they're gonna mm -hmm. just bring you down and you gotta keep yourself up because there's enough rejection in the business as you know. Mm -hmm. Bunch of rejection, absolutely. And pretty much the music, radio, television industry. 
you're going to get some sort of rejection. Absolutely. So you got to be strong and you have to have that core that, that makes you believe in yourself and, and keep going. You know, I mean, I've been doing this for a long time and I've never mm -hmm. stopped. And the reason I've never stopped is because I love to do it. And regardless of whether I'm successful or famous or any of those things, I do it for myself because I have to do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite venue that you have uh, been to or had a chance to sing at or? Um, I don't do a lot of performing. Um, mm -hmm. It's mostly studio work. Mm -hmm. So I can't say that there's a, a you know, a, a great venue for me. Uh, I know there's some, some really nice places here in the mm -hmm. Raleigh area in North Carolina, but uh, honestly, I haven't played out at any of them. And um, I'm mostly a studio person because as I said, I'm not the greatest guitar player and mm -hmm. I don't have a band. So uh, it's just, I gotcha. don't have a great mm -hmm. place to play. Totally. That makes sense. I was going to actually ask you as your next question, like, where have you been in regards to touring? But it doesn't seem like you've done that. So, <laughs> no, not, not yet. I'm hoping to get to that point, you know, where I have mm -hmm. a band and, uh, and it warrants a, a nice tour. That would be great. What is one message that you would like to give your fans or anyone listening, Roland? Um, okay. So, I would like to say thank you, first of all, for, for listening to my music, if, if and when you do. And uh, I really appreciate it because it's really, it's the fans and, and it's my friends that, that support me constantly and, and, and give me the kind of uh, feedback that I need to hear. And, um, you know, thank you for coming out uh, and, and listening to the radio and going to the venues and supporting your, your favorite artists, the ones that do go out and tour. Uh, I'm not one of them, but mm -hmm. thank you for listening to my music and I appreciate each and every one of you. Mm -hmm. And also before we go, where can people find you on social media? Um, so I have a website, it's rollandjewett.com. And uh, you can find me on Facebook, on Twitter, uh, on Instagram. I post quite often on those uh, places, but also you can find my music almost every platform. As I said, uh, Spotify, mm -hmm. Deezer, iHeartRadio, Amazon, Apple, uh, you know, Sound, uh, SoundCamp or what, no, it's Bandcamp. SoundCloud and, or something, it's one SoundCloud, of those, Bandcamp. Yes. There's Sound, you know, SoundCloud and, and then there's Bandcamp, yep. I get them mixed up sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but no worries, it's, it's all good. It's out there for everybody to listen to and, uh, you know, check out my new single, Electricity. Uh, it's, a, it's a fun song. It's an upbeat song, and uh, it's different than most of the material that's out there. So definitely check that out if you can. I uh, appreciate that. Absolutely. And Roland, before we go, is there anything else that I forgot that I'd like to share with us today? Um, no, but uh, I think you covered everything, Caden. And congratulations on your show. I wish you big success. And you're very talented, and uh, you do a great interview. So Keep up the thank good you. work, and I appreciate it, man. No problem, anytime. Again, I would like to thank Roland J for joining us right here on the Caden Gordon Show today's Best Country Mix. We truly appreciate your time to talk to us today. Thanks, man. Take care.